Nelson Mandela was, of course, the man who inspired the world, but you're about to meet the little boy who inspired Nelson Mandela. It was just more than a decade ago the world first met little Nkosi Johnson, the South African boy born with HIV. He'd lost his mother to AIDS, and at a time when South Africa was unwilling to talk about the disease, Nkosi bravely stood before the world and did. That woman giving him the thumbs up right there is the woman who would adopt him, Gail Johnson. And the two of them together would start a shoestring shelter for mothers with AIDS and their children. They called it in Cozy's Haven. He spoke on the 9th of July 2000 and he died on the 1st of June 2001. The virus had been attacking his brain and he never recovered from that. After his mom died, I said to him, should we start something for moms and kids? He said yes. And I thought, there's, there's a message here, and let's just put it together. You know, you just got to do things. When you know you've got to do something, you just bloody do it. You've got children who are orphaned and infected from birth. Now, there's a dynamic second to none. Here, like, all these people that I live with in here, it's like, uh, they are my sisters and brothers. My name is Lerato Siviso. I'm a mother of two kids. Coming here to start, it changed our lives because I felt important. I felt that I mattered. I felt like a human being. Gail is trying her level best to help. She was just, she just got sent. What worries me is that Gail is now struggling a lot with the funds. This place can close down. If it closed down, where is all these children going to go? This is their home now. Where will they go? 